let's take a look at some important summation rules. First, you know by the definition of multiplication that if I sum the same number, say 4, say 3 times, then this is exactly the same as 3 times 4, which is 12. Extending this idea to sums, if I sum a constant, that is, I sum the same number over and over, in particularly, I sum the number c n times, then I will get the result n c. In the previous example, I had c equal to 4 and n equal to 3. But of course, this applies to any number c and any positive integer n. Second, we remember the distributive law. If I write 4 times 3 plus 4 times 2, for example, I can take out 4 and write that in front of a parenthesis and then write 3 plus 2 inside the parenthesis. Generalizing this idea, I can take constants out of sums. In the example above rule 2, I had n equal to 2, I had c equal to 4, I had x1 equal to 3, and I had x2 equal to 2. On the left hand side, it then says c times x1, which is 4 times 3, plus c times x2, which is 4 times 2. On the right hand side, I have c times a sum, that is 4 times a sum. I want to multiply c by the entire sum, but since multiplication goes before addition, I have to put a parenthesis. Then I have sum, I go from 1 to 2 xi, so that would be x1, which is 3, plus x2, which is 2. So whenever you see a constant c which does not have a subscript i, then it's the same number throughout the loop, and because of the distributive law, we can take it outside. For rule number 3, remember that we can sum numbers in any order we like. So if I want to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, I can start by adding the first two numbers, that's 3, and to that I add the sum of the last two numbers, that's 7, and then I get 10. But I can just as well add the first and the third number, that's 4, and to that I add the sum of the second and the fourth number, that's 6, and that also gives me 10. If I have a sum where the expression inside the sum is itself a sum such as xi plus yi, then I can split the sum into two sums where I add all the xi's and then I add all the yi's and I add these together. For uh, the final rule, let's say that I need to add these five numbers. Then I know that I can group elements together however I want. I may, for example, put parentheses like this, for which the result is 6 plus 9, or 15, but I can just as well add parentheses like this, for which the result is 3 plus 12, which is 15. Technically, we say that addition satisfies the associative rule. Generalizing this to sums, if I need to sum n, elements, I can break up this sum any way I like. I can put the parentheses around the first m element and one parenthesis around the remaining elements and add these two together and I can put these two parentheses wherever I want.